it is officially December and it doesn't look that bad but that is the slippiest ice <laughs> that has ever existed and I am not looking forward to walking in that later on to go to work yeah today is Friday the 1st of December 2017 and the Christmas music's on the radio I'm in my Christmas PJs and I'm ready <laughs> basically I just thought quite impulsively I decided to do a weekly vlogmas this year I decided to give it a go because I have some festive fun things planned and um, it's my 21st birthday this week um, I'm gonna go see Hamilton I'm gonna go um, look at the Christmas markets in Leeds towards the end of the month some days will be more fun than others because today I'm literally just doing essay work for uni and then I'm going to go to work and have to battle all that ice outside so that'll be fun um, but yeah I just thought it'd be fun to kind of document it and see how it goes and we're all gonna have fun it is officially the best time of the year though because it's time to open the advent calendar and this year it's not as exciting as normal I wanted like a Disney princess one or something but according to my mum there was only a My Little Pony one or some other like kids one or something and I was like well that's not good enough so got more teasers now it's oh I found the number one yay <laughs> number one this is gonna be exciting guys a big reveal oh oh what do you get if you cross a snowman and a shark? Frostbite. Classic. <laughs> See if I can do this one hand. Oh, I am. There we go. Got a little Christmas tree. I legit just spent a good 10 minutes debating on what combination of layers to wear because it's just so cold outside. <laughs> so it's December 2nd and I actually won't be leaving the house today because I have the thrilling task of writing an essay about Abraham Lincoln for university. So that's my day sorted, but I did actually start off the day by watching my lovely friend Lisa's final vlog from our Disney cruise and I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit teary-eyed. Um, her service has been really good, like I vlogged it all as well but she's done better, so I will like link that below um, because it is honestly like, oh it's so good. I want to watch them all again just to relive it all but today I am literally just gonna be writing my essay and also um, tomorrow I'm getting a, a bit of a family get together like for my birthday and stuff because my mum told me I needed to because <laughs> I am going out with my friends and everything but like she insisted that we um, must have like something for the family to come and see me for. So we're getting a cake and everything all sorted, so I think she's done something quite exciting, so that'll be fun. Um, but also, <laughs> unrelated, um, I bought this the other day, I'll show you. I got this amazing Disney throw from Primark and they've got so many nice ones in right now. And um, My friend Tegan actually bought um, an ER one and we were joking saying it looks a bit like a baby blanket. And then I said to be honest, mine looks more like a pet blanket because it looks a bit like paw prints. <laughs> but yeah, I am very happy and it's honestly so soft, so... Basically my room has become like a showcase for Primark homeware, but I don't care. <laughs> well it's now half past seven on December 2nd and I should be sat in the Victoria Palace Theatre watching Hamilton, but then all the rescheduling and cancelled performances happened, so I'm going to have to wait another week and for now, Strictly Come Dancing Musical Week will do. <laughs> I love how extra this is already. <laughs> So today is the 3rd of December and it's the day before my birthday but we have got quite a bit of family coming around because my mum told me I had to. <laughs> she said that it was only fair that we like invited them around. So it's not a party, <laughs> it's, it's more like a cake and prosecco do. <laughs> so people are going to be in and out all day and there's like loads of cakes and stuff and, and got like drinks and everything. And I've opened a few presents and I got this from my mum and dad and it's um, this new couture and it says believe. My hair is completely covering that. I'll do a better video in a minute, but yeah, it's pretty cute, this little bag. And they mainly gave me money and stuff, so I've got other little bits and bobs, um, pyjamas, and yeah, I'm basically treating today as my birthday. Um, tomorrow, I have got to go to work. Um, I could have had the day off, but in all honesty, it just made sense to do it at the weekend for celebration. And next week, I'm in London to celebrate properly with my friends. But yeah, that's basically today. And I've also got a special cake made, and it has Wicked on the top and loads of stagey things like around the side, bless her, she's really tried and um, got like a family friend to do the cake and then she's done the decorations and it's cute, bless her, so I'm quite happy with that. Third <laughs> out, and can we talk about the presents Tegan's left. got me? <laughs> it's got me the best presents, right? Yeah. First of all, there's a t-shirt. Oh my god, right. Can I do this here? I don't know. Uh, I'll tell you, <laughs> sister. Keep calm. No, wait. I can't keep calm. <laughs> I'm going to Disney World. Because we are going to Disney World in September next so year excited. with our friends Sophie and Leona. <laughs> and it is going to be the best trip ever. And it seems like so far away, but the fact that like I can like, now wear a t-shirt to the people that I'm going. <laughs> I expect so, you to wear it around I'll be wearing it. I'll be wearing it everywhere. Definitely on the plane. And Tegan's got some really cute travel outfits sorted already. <laughs> what we Mickey are, like, Mouse like is it a Mickey Mouse like hoodie We are going to be like the best <laughs> so Disney nice. squad. But also, 
So I got a royal invitation to go to Kensington Palace and see Diana, her fashion story, because I like have a bit of an obsession with the royal family, especially Diana, because it just fascinates me. And oh my God, I'm actually so excited. Like I knew she had something <laughs> planned for me on the Sunday in London, but I didn't know what. And I thought maybe like some sort of like afternoon tea or maybe like something to do with theatre or I, I had no idea. Confused. This is like, you have some plans, <laughs> but it's but like the best. The oh my God. I'm like literally fangirling so much. <laughs> She's going to be, I'm walking around like, what the hell have I paid for? Regret this so bad. <laughs> but yay! special birthday. Uh, yes, this is coming from our dear, dear Lynette, who says, Could you please play Go Into Your Dance from 42nd Street and wish Carrie a very happy 21st from Mum and Dad? And we hope she enjoys Hamilton next Saturday. <laughs> from Row. Thank you, says Lynette. Well, Carrie. 21. <laughs> 21. And I thought that was the age that your mother was. 21. Uh, Jonathan. Um, questions. Where was our invite to the 21st? Where was our invite to the front row of Hamilton? <laughs> yes, okay. Okay. Yeah, anyway. Carrie, happy 21st. I hope you've had a fabulous birthday. Uh, you've been spoilt rotten. Uh, I've seen a picture of the cake. Looks good. I can't describe it because I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it looks excellent. Uh, and uh, this is from uh, Mum and Dad, and from all of us here as well. Uh, and she asked for. Go into your dance. Oh my god, what is my life? Well, today's officially my birthday, but in this house it's Christmas. <laughs> Got the tree up, basically just full of Disney ornaments, in all honesty, Tinkerbells at the top. And I'm gonna be honest, I have not done any of this. It's all my mum. <laughs> it's kind of, we, we go for um, classy, <laughs> we go for classy um, for and on there kind of vibe, don't we, mum? Kind of what we do. They're expensive, <laughs> oh, but Mediterranean cruise bauble. See, getting good use to it. Love it. <laughs> I basically spent the full day today at university. I had to leave the seminar, so that was really fun. And it's only about 4 p.m., but actually really dark outside. And um, so I'm hibernating inside. And I'm eating like the world's biggest slice of birthday cake because at first, right, you think, oh, I'll have a big birthday cake. That would be like a great idea. You can never get rid of it. Like obviously, <laughs> like we've given it to, I've given it to people at work. I've given it to everyone who like came around to wish me happy birthday. I've given it to the neighbours, and it's just never ending. So, yeah, the next few days, I'm literally living on a diet of birthday cake. But to be fair, that's not really a bad thing, is it? <laughs> <laughs> It is the 6th of December and I've just spent today at uni again basically. Um, I got home about early afternoon and since then actually I had a nice catch up with my friend Holly who I'm actually seeing this weekend because we've seen Hamilton and oh my god like I was on the phone with her for like almost an hour just talking all about staginess and then I also um, just got off the phone with my friend Meg who is actually moving to um, Bognor Regis to go um, join Butlins as a red coat and like I'm so proud of her, like, I can't even explain. Um, it came out as a shock that she's going so soon, though, because she was planning to, she got originally offered to um, join in January, but they needed someone, and obviously she looks like she's the one to go, so I just want to wish her the best of luck tomorrow, because she's going to travel down, and I'm going to miss her, because, like, she's my fellow northerner, we always go to shows together and everything, and we still will, and I might, if all things go well. She might be able to meet up with me in London on Saturday, so I can, like, properly, like, kind of, speak to her and like wish her good luck and everything for all of it but yeah I'm really excited for her so that'll be real lovely and apart from that I'm basically just going to be chilling all night um tomorrow I'm going to go uh, to uni in the morning then I might go do some Christmas shopping but tomorrow night we're off to the panto and it's been a while since I've been to a pantomime because um I had a very bad past experience um basically I have strong opinions about pantomimes <laughs> I love them I do like, obviously like I grew up going to them but obviously people that don't regular, like not regular theatre goers go to the pantomime as like a family day out, which is lovely, but they don't have theatre etiquette and that's where it goes a bit wrong. Um, so last time it was honestly so bad, like it got to the point where I literally could not hear what was happening on the stage because people around me were so loud, like eating their picnics they brought from home and everything. So, but I'm really excited because our local pantomime has Brendan from Kirch Trip and Darren Day. And Darren Day is one of my faves because, um, Years ago, I watched um, the VHS of Summer Holiday, like, endlessly, like, religiously, and um, he's he, he plays the main guy in it, um, so it'd be really funny to see him, and fun fact, he actually replied to my tweet about that a few months back, because it turns out my mum binned my VHS of it. 
it was heartbreaking. So I tweeted him saying that I don't think I've ever forgiven her. And he replied saying like, <laughs> he replied like laughing or something saying along the lines of like, no, you shouldn't forgive her. Um, but thankfully I found some of it on YouTube. So I've rewatched all that, but I'm babbling. So that's tomorrow. God, exhausted. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. And then obviously this weekend I'm going to London um, to celebrate my birthday properly. And we're gonna go see some shows and Hamilton. And I keep talking about that, but I'm sorry. It's been a year and a half in the making. So I'm gonna keep talking about it. <laughs> My lovely cousin Tegan also bought me this teapot for my birthday and it says be our guest so obviously we've arranged it so it's next to a little chip and this is like the Disney shelf. <laughs> Quite, I, I'm, I'm actually really proud of this shelf, I love it. I also just discovered that my brand new pyjamas have pockets. They have pockets, like Thing ever. We just unexpectedly um, bumped into my grandma and granddad walking hand in hand looking at the Christmas lights in town and not, that's not the cutest thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. <laughs> anything tonight it's that me my mum and Tegan are all officially theatre snobs <laughs> I think like we've all got to the point where like we're just a bit a bit underwhelmed with pantomimes <laughs> what's your favourite part mum? I like the bit where they lost the power in the theatre the best yeah we had a bit of a show well it wasn't a show stop because they improvised blessing the guy playing Smee had to like make up a load of rubbish for like 15 minutes but yeah it was it was fun I mean like my, my jaw does actually really ache from like laughing, but not for a good reason. Darren Day was good. Yeah, Darren Day, like he's always amazing. Tinkerbell was on roller skates. Yeah, Tinkerbell was on roller skates, which is interesting. <laughs> Weirdly, um, Brendan from Church Trips in it, and I thought he was Smee. Like, I might be wrong, but the guy came on and Smee was not Brendan. And I was a bit shocked thinking it's the first night, which explains for all the problems, I guess. Um, <laughs> but I was thinking, oh my God, is Brendan not on? Turns out he's not Smee, he's another shipmate <laughs> that turned up like 10 minutes later. I was like, okay. So yeah, every year I somehow convince myself it's a great idea to go see the pantomime and then I'm reminded why I don't really like them. Um, no, it, it was really fun, like, <laughs> you, take it, you take it for what you get and everything and it was opening night so that explains why they had a few technical difficulties and whilst um, other little things went wrong like Darren blessing his um, hook because he's playing Captain, Captain Hook his hook got caught on his costume at one point um, Brendan, <laughs> he had some like fake Yorkshire puddings that were like kind of like like stuffed so like kind of like plushy Yorkshire puddings if you want to call them that and like he was like kind of swinging them around and they flew into the audience so it, it was really funny um, but yeah it's just when you have all the pop songs that like are out of context and they kind of change the words so it's not as rude and <laughs> It was interesting. It's actually the end of week one of Vlogmas and I actually managed to film something every day so I'm quite proud. I um, no idea how all this footage is going to end up looking together but yeah I filmed from Friday to Thursday so tomorrow I'm going to start week two and we're going to London and we're going to go see everyone talking about Jamie tomorrow so that'll be really fun probably more exciting than this week. Um, <laughs> it can only go up from the pantomime. <laughs> But thank you very much if you have watched and everything. Um, basically, I just wanted to do this to kind of document my December and kind of just... I just thought some people might want to watch it. <laughs> if you do it, fair enough. But yeah, I've had fun actually doing it. So thank you for watching. Do like and comment if you did enjoy. And tune in for next week because it's going to be a hell of a lot more fun. And that's happening. <laughs>